Across the Pussycats are back with their second album, Wake Me When It's Over, and they've just completed their UK leg of their sold-out European tour with support from British band The Almighty and new US rockers Dangerous Toys. The tour now crosses into Europe with shows in Germany and Holland, finishing on the 22nd of December at the Paradiso in Amsterdam. Well, if you can't get a ticket to see them live, you can see them here on Headbangers Ball. People think, uh, you know, because we haven't been out and haven't had a record out in like two years, that we've just been sitting around waiting for things to happen. I mean, we've gotten so much better just in practice. You know, we've been in the rehearsal studio six to five to six days a week since we start, stopped touring on the last record. And just going through all the problems that we've went through and just made us better, too, in dealing with other things, like reality. <laughs> It's fun because you get it. You get it. Uh, it's your last chance to try something. Out, uh, see how it works. See how it works with the audience. What the audience response is. Sometimes it's good not to, because then they can say, "Well, I never heard that song before." Yeah. If they start throwing cups and beers at you and spitting on you, you know that uh, maybe you got a hit. You know. <laughs> LA's got a good reputation too for bands, so it's like, you know, not being, you know, being known as an LA band is nothing but good, you know, as far as I'm concerned. Yeah, our image is just what we choose to wear, you know, and the way we present ourselves. The music is what we're all about, you know, that's us, that's the actual, that's the goods, that's what you get. So when you get bands that are all image and no music, they don't last too long. House of Pain, which is going to be the next single off the record. You know, it was written about growing up with, with a dad but not being around and kind of neglected. Mm -hmm. And to make something like that right, just lyrically, takes a long time. It took me two years. Mm -hmm. And like the other ballad, Please Dear, it's about an ex-girlfriend of mine who got killed in that car accident. Mm -hmm. You know, and writing a song like that takes a lot of time. She's, you know, she didn't hear it, but her friends and everybody that knew her, that's who I wrote it for. Mm -hmm. So they can have something to remember her by. We're the Rodney Dangerfields of rock and roll. We get no respect, but we'll get our respect in due time. People realize, people see, see who lasts. You know, there's a lot of good bands out there and there's room for everybody. We'll get our respect eventually. Every dog has their day.